Noise and grain. It's like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. I personally don't like it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the noise and grain from your images. For the last couple of months, I've been using an add-on piece of software within Lightroom and Photoshop to remove the noise from my macro shots. That piece of software is called Topaz Denoise. Now normally I'm not an advocate for third party plugins because most of the time they do the same thing that your software can do. But in this case, this piece of software is brilliant and I have been using it on all of my images of the last couple of months. Now if you are interested in trying out Topaz Denoise, there's a link down below that you can download a 30 day free trial. Reasons why you would need to do this, either you're like me and you hate noise and grain images and got to remove it, or you might come across a situation where maybe there's a, a unique uh, subject that you haven't photographed before and you need to document it. You haven't got a flash, your batteries have gone on your flash or something like that. And you need to crank up your ISO or you need to underexpose that image. And when you bring it up in post, you're gonna get lots of noise. This software is great for cleaning up those images. Let's take a look in Lightroom now. Okay, so here we have a very simple composition. I have some water drops on a dandelion clock with a flower behind it. And if I zoom in, you can see the noise and grain. And for me, particularly with the water drop shots, the noise and grain takes away that dreamy feel of the image. So I do like to get rid of it in these type of images. So for these tests, obviously, I didn't shoot at ISO 100 or anything like that because with ESR up to 1600, it's perfectly okay to just post it like that. I mean, this image is actually okay to post. So this is a bit of an extreme example of cleaning up um, noise and grain. But I started at ISO 1600. And what I'm going to do is I'm doubling up the ISO every time. We'll see how far we can go cleaning up the image before the image falls apart. So if we zoom in, you can see the noise and the grain that's in this image. I'm going to come up to photo edit and once you've installed Topaz Denoise this is where you're going to find the um, the shortcut to using Topaz Denoise. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to edit it. Now it can't edit the raw file so it will make a copy so generally when I'm using the Denoise I will do that last in my images. I'm going to be editing a TIFF format and we're not using Profoto. I'm going to use Adobe RGB. Let's keep things simple. Let's click on edit. Now let me just move this over to where we have our water drops. And the interface is very, very easy to use. You've got three sliders that you can use. We have remove noise. So if you move this up to the right hand side, it's going to remove more noise. I'm only going to move that up if there's still noise in the image. Then we have sharpen. So if I whack that right up, you'll see what that does. That sharpens the image. So if you see here, but sometimes that can introduce artifacts. So be careful using that sharpen slider. And then we have recover original detail. So if we whack that up, you'll see the noise start coming back. That's if you've got some very fine details you want to recover, you can use that to recover the details. But for now, we're going to leave this all as default. We can save that image now. That's going to throw the TIFF image back into Lightroom for us to have a look. As soon as my potato catches up, it will anyway. Are we done yet? Nope. I think half of this video is going to be me waiting for the computer to catch up. We're in Lightroom again. I'm just going to zoom in. This is the cleaned up version. And here is the original. You can see there how it's cleaned it up. But more importantly, we've kept the details, which is fantastic. Now on an ISO 1600 image, that's easy to do. You can even do that in Lightroom, easy. So let's up the ante a little bit, shall we? Let's go to 3200 ISO. So let's now, coming to top as noise. Again, we're going to do Adobe RGB and edit. Let's see if this gives top as noise a little bit more of a challenge. Again, I'm just going to move this over there. And again, absolutely no problems with the out the box settings to remove the noise from a 3200 ISO image. That is to be expected. So let's ump the ante just a little bit. As soon as the computer catches up again, eh? Okay, so let's ump the ante a little bit, shall we? Let's get rid of those two. 
And I'm going to come to, let's see, 6400. Let's go with, let's try 12,800 ISO. Now you can see how noisy that image there. You can even see the noise when you zoomed out. Okay. So let's see if Topaz Noise can deal with this. Topaz Noise. Again, Adobe RGB. Edit. Okay, let's move this over so we can see the water drops. Because the, the detail is in the water drops. And we're looking okay. It's not brilliant. But at a push, it will be okay. So what's happening here is, if you can see where my cursor is pointing to just here. Okay, it's removing the noise from the background, which is the blurred out background. But it's not removing it from the water drops. So what we do here now is we increase... The amount of noise removal until all of the noise has gone. So if we look at here now, you can see there how it's removed it. Let's save the image. I'm going to practice juggling while I'm waiting for the computer to catch up. I'm not very good at it at the moment, but you know, obviously, I can get lots of practice in. Okay, so you can see there we have the image cleaned up. I'm going to compare it to the first one. And it's interesting, on a side note, when you come back and forward, how you can see how the dandelion clock between the frames is actually closing up, which is why you have to get things done quickly with these dandelion clocks, because when they get wet, they close up. Yeah, so anyway. But yeah, that can easily pass. That's 12,800, and we've been able to clean that image up there. So you can see how powerful this software is. Now the question is, could we do that with Lightroom? So I'm going to go back to the original one and I'm going to come down to here and I'm going to bump that up to remove it. Okay. Detail. And it, it look, I mean, you can see the artifacts already. Yeah. Uh, so that's not going to work. Contrast. Let's have a contrast. That's not going to work. So you can remove it with Lightroom. It's just that if you look at the actual detail, we're talking details that you won't notice unless you print out on a large scale. So bear that in mind. If you are posting to Facebook or social media, it really doesn't matter which method you use. For printing, the detail in the Topaz Labs version is much better. Let's see how much further we can push it, okay? So we're going to come up to, let's have a look. What about 51,200 ISO? Shall we try that? Let's give it a go. So you can see there how bad the noise is on this image. And this is like an image you would take if um, you've got no other choice but to use that ISO because you're shooting at night time, it, it's, the sun's gone down, your batteries have gone flat on your flash, some sort of instance like that. But at least you'll know in your head that, yes, I can take it with that ISO in the hopefulness that you can recover it so let's try and let's see if we can recover the noise in this image so again i'm going to come over to my water drops now bear in mind the water drops are slightly out of focus now because that dandelion clock has closed up a little bit but we can work with it okay i'm going to put it there and again i'm going to move the remove noise slider up to the right until we've moved all the noise so let's move that up. Now we know 30 on the last one worked. So let's give that a go first before we go any further. And again, that's not going to work. Look, you can see it here. There. You see how the noise is still there? So I'm going to put it up to 60. Let's double it. Mm, almost. We've got some noise there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it right up to 100. This is a very, very extreme example here. Okay. And let's render that out. And this is some very, very powerful software. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not dropping them no more. Okay, so you can see there, it's not brilliant. It's not going to be a portfolio image, you're not going to print it out, but if you are documenting uh, a new insect that you haven't seen before, you can clean it up using Topaz D Noise. 
So let's look at a real world situation here, shall we? This image is lit only by the video lights, okay, because the flash didn't fire. So what I can do here is just to make things easy, I'm going to click on auto. And then with uh, spiders, particularly the black spiders, you also need to recover the shadows. So we're going to bring those shadows up. But now if you look at that, and more importantly with this image, if I come over here, we've got these lines that are going across. Okay, and that's the uh, the pattern of the noise with the mirrorless sensor and all that technical jargon. But we have these lines that are going across, okay? Let's go into Topaz Labs, Denoise. And again, I'm just going to use the default settings again. The default settings are very good on this piece of software. We're going to have a look at the background here, where those, noise, uh, where those lines are, and you can see there it's gone. But if we pull the slider over the eyes, we still have all the detail intact on the eyes. That is brilliant. That is fantastic. I absolutely love this piece of software. Let's render that out as well. I think I need a third one now because waiting for the potato, I can do two juggling now. So I need a third one practice juggling with three then but as you can see we have that out now and you can see we've cleaned up the uh, the noise on there and because we've cleaned up the noise i can now crop it in a little bit like that and we have a nice beautiful image so that is topaz denoise i've been using it for the last couple of months and i have brought the software for myself i like it it does the job so if you don't like noise and grain in your images particularly your water drop or your dreamy type of flower images, then take a look at Topaz Denoise, link in the description below. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. My name is Stuart Wood, and again, I'll see you on the next project. Well, you hate it. Now, in my opinion, I hate it. And the interface for this, I don't want to experience, <laughs> I don't want to experience that while I'm doing a tutorial. Thank you very much, Nvidia. <laughs> Thank you for offering, but I'm not really interested at this point in time. <laughs> if you are interested in trying out Topaz Denoise on your own images, there's a link in the description below where you can download a demo copy of... <laughs> <laughs> if you are interested in trying out... <laughs> now on a sick ISO... And again, we're going to move the noise... Remove... I shall leave it there. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this particular project. And I was... I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. No. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. My name is Stuart Wood. And again, as always, I'll see you on the next project. Oh.